You know, I just read about this concept called spec-driven development, and it turns traditional coding on its head. It's fascinating. Oh, wow, seriously. I've always thought of coding as the primary focus. So how exactly does it change that? Well, instead of writing code first, you focus on creating specifications that can actually drive the coding process. Wait, so the specs are executable. That's a huge shift. How does that even work in practice? Exactly, you create a spec through a command, describe what you want, and it starts generating the actual code for you. That's so wild. But doesn't that take away some of the creativity of coding? I mean, isn't coding itself an art? That's a great point. I think it actually frees up creativity because you're able to focus on the bigger picture instead of getting bogged down in syntax. Right, and I can see how that might speed up development processes. But what happens if the specs aren't clear enough? Good question. If the specs are vague, then yes, the implementation can miss the mark. That's where clarity becomes crucial. So basically, it's like laying out an architectural plan before building a house. You need that detail first. Exactly. You start with a clear vision before breaking ground. What surprised me is how this could overhaul traditional workflows. Yeah, it sounds like a major paradigm shift. Did you read anything on how developers are reacting to it? Surprisingly mixed. Some are excited, while others feel like it could stifle the flexibility that comes with coding. That makes sense. Change is always tough. But how does one even begin implementing this kind of development? It starts with a command line interface, like using the specify command to outline project needs. It's all about the what and why. And it builds from there, right? Then you create a technical plan and an action list. Sounds structured. Very structured. It's almost like a project management tool that generates itself through the specification. I can see that. But is there a risk that it could lead to overengineering, like adding unnecessary features? Absolutely. Developers might get carried away if specs don't set limits, leading to something overly complex for a simple idea. So a balance is key. What happens if someone runs into issues during implementation? That's the best part. If something goes wrong, you can troubleshoot directly in the CLI, refining the implementation in real time. That's pretty convenient. So it's like having a dynamic feedback loop while coding. Any downsides? Well, if developers rely too much on automation, they might lose touch with fundamental coding skills over time. Like muscle memory. That's interesting. It's as though the specs might take away some of the learning curve. Right, there's definitely a learning curve with adopting this method, especially for those who are traditionally trained in coding. I wonder if hybrid approaches could work. Mixing spec-driven development with traditional coding. Definitely, that could provide a smoother learning transition while still encouraging innovation in development practices. So if you think about it, it's quite a transformative concept. It shakes up our ideas about software development. Exactly. Just imagine the potential for collaboration, too. The specs can be shared and modified, creating a communal development space. That's powerful. And it makes me think about how this model could influence other industries, too. Oh, for sure. Like in project management or product design, focusing on communication first could lead to better outcomes. Yeah, it's like moving towards a more agile, adaptable framework. But do companies risk losing proprietary insights? Good question. Sharing specs might lead to insights being exposed, but collaboration can also spark innovation. Balance is everything, right? But I'm intrigued by this whole approach. It puts a twist on conventional thinking. Absolutely. It makes you rethink how we value code versus the ideas behind it. This is just the beginning. I can't wait to see how this evolves. But here, as another thought, what if it changes how we teach coding? That's a fascinating angle. Teaching specs as part of coding education could encourage clearer thinking from the start. It might lead to a whole new generation of developers who are more design-focused, rather than just code executors. Exactly. If we think about it, isn't coding just as much about problem-solving and design as it is about syntax? Totally. Spec-driven development could be paving the way for a more thoughtful approach to tech. So what's the takeaway? I think the key takeaway is that focusing on specification first can revolutionize development methods and encourage creativity. And it pushes us to think harder about our intentions in tech, 
merging ideas and implementation in new ways. Absolutely so much to consider moving forward. I'm really excited about where this will take us. Same here. It's a game changer for sure, and I'm curious to see how developers adapt to this shift.